Hi everyone, welcome to My Green Closet. It's December holiday season, and while this time of year can be really special, it also unfortunately is one of the most wasteful times of year. Between Thanksgiving and the New Year, Americans actually throw away 25% more trash than any other time of year. But there are ways to have a lower impact and plastic-free Christmas. And this video is in collaboration with Earth Hero. I love working with them because they have a great mission and an incredible selection of sustainable and zero waste products for all areas of life. So let's jump right into my sustainable holiday tips. First, I wanna talk about decorations. Unfortunately, these are often either made of plastic, come wrapped in plastic, or worst of all, are covered in glitter. One of the best things you can do for more sustainable decorations is get them secondhand. Thrift stores are a fantastic place to find decorations, or you can also get them through buy nothing or free cycle groups. Or you can also DIY decorations, upcycle things and get crafty. There are tons of ideas and tutorials out there. I also really love using natural decorations. And this is especially good if you don't wanna keep a lot in storage or you live in a small space. Pine branches, orange slices, cinnamon sticks, pine cones, all make lovely natural decor. And if you get anything new, try to support sustainable brands and make sure to get stuff that you will use for decades. I hate this idea of like trendy holiday decor, which people change up every year or two. It's so wasteful. This year, I decided to get this beautiful pocket advent calendar from Earth Hero. You can fill it with little treats or whatever, but I'm doing cards with fun activities that we can do each day. It not only makes lovely decoration, but it's such a fun way to enjoy December, and I'm excited to make this a family tradition. And candles for me are always a big part of setting the mood and creating a cozy atmosphere. Even when we had almost no decorations, I would always get a scented candle, something spicy or piney, and it just always made things feel wintry and Christmassy. But when you are getting candles, be sure to look for natural waxes because paraffin, which is used in most candles, is petroleum, and so you are literally burning fossil fuels. And I also try to look for candles that are phthalate free and have cotton wicks. So now let's talk about Christmas trees and real versus fake trees. Both have pros and cons when it comes to sustainability, but the overall consensus is that real trees are actually better for the environment. However, if you do have a fake tree, you can actually have a lower footprint than a real tree. If you use it, the numbers seem to range anywhere from 15 to 25 years. So as long as you keep it and use it a long time, it can be more sustainable. And if you do wanna get a fake tree, be sure to get it secondhand so that you can increase its lifetime. And if you are going with a real tree, there's a couple things to keep in mind. And first is to try to get it as local as you can. Where I live, the forestry department at our university actually sells their farm trees for charity. So if you can find something like that, that's great to support. And then after Christmas, it's super important to make sure that your tree doesn't go to the landfill. So check what your city does in terms of tree pickup or if there are places that you can drop it off. You wanna make sure that it's going somewhere where it can biodegrade or often they get shredded into things like mulch for parks. I'll also include a link down below for more information on the sustainability of real versus fake trees. And then there's also the decoration on the tree. Most of ours have been passed down through family, which I really love. And you can definitely find decorations secondhand, or it's also easy to make things like salt dough ornaments, paper snowflakes, origami stars, or use natural decorations like dried orange slices. Next, let's talk about gifts because this can be a huge source of waste. Traditional wrapping paper is awful. It can't be recycled. Instead, some good options are reusing packing paper or using old newspaper. We've actually been using cloth bags in my family since I was little, and it's really cool to see them make the rounds every year. I also got sent a wrapper cloth to try out this year. There's a beautiful Japanese way of wrapping with cloth called furoshiki, and you can find lots of tutorials online of different ways to wrap objects with a square of cloth. And then what about the gifts inside the wrapping? It is fantastic to support sustainable and local brands. And I know that people have some differing opinions on this, but I think that it's totally fine to give secondhand gifts. And I actually think that this is something we should normalize more. So I would really encourage you to let people know that you're totally fine with and actually very happy to receive secondhand gifts. 
An excellent idea, especially if you have a larger family, is doing a Secret Santa style gift giving. So instead of getting a lot of little random gifts, each person gets one special and better quality gift. Also, the best gift is something that you know will get used. So don't be afraid to ask what people want or could use. And for receiving gifts, you can create a wish list to share with those who want to give you gifts. And because we could definitely use just less stuff in the world, experiences, consumables, donations, or handmade gifts are all fantastic and great ways to reduce plastic. I also have my green gift guide on the blog, which has 25 gift ideas from responsible brands. So you can check that out too if you're looking for more sustainable gifts and great brands to support. And I know a lot of people struggle with gifts for children and how crazy that can get. So for us, we're doing the four gifts of something you want, something you need, something to wear, and something to read, which I think is a great approach. So then we're on to cards. And I usually like to do digital cards because they're fun to make. There's of course no paper involved and you can add little photos or videos. Greenvelope is great for digital cards. Or I also love Creative Market for getting graphics and card templates. This year I made this cute little cartoon of our family using a portrait pack I got from Creative Market. However, this year I also wanted to mail cards to some of the people that we haven't seen in a very long time. It's been such a weird and lonely year and I just think that there's something kind of heartwarming about getting a handwritten card in the mail. For those, I'm using Tree Free cards, which I also got from Earth Hero. They're made from 100% recycled paper and made with wind power, and there's also no plastic packaging. Next, I want to talk about food. Large family dinners can have, unfortunately, a large impact and also create a lot of waste. But here's some things you can do to reduce that. First, use reusable dishes and cutlery. Try to reduce food waste however you can. Be sure to store leftovers, or a great idea is to ask guests to bring their own containers so that they can take home leftovers. And if there's extra food that you don't think will get eaten in time, then freeze it. Any way that you can make your meal more plant-based can significantly reduce its impact. And I understand that fully giving up meat, especially for the holidays, might not at all be realistic for some people, and that's okay. What you can do instead then is focus on the side dishes. Many classic side dishes can easily be veganized. Or try out some new recipes. You can try maybe a couple out every holiday and keep your favorites in rotation. I will also be doing a blog post of some of my favorite plant-based holiday recipes, so keep an eye out for that if you'd like some inspiration. Another great way to reduce your meal's footprint is shopping locally and seasonally. A lot of seasonal vegetables work perfectly in holiday dishes. And compost your scraps, or a lot of scraps can actually be made into stock. For drinks, it's always great to support local breweries or vineyards. And we're even going so far as to brew our own beer and mead this year. I really hope it works out. It should be ready in a couple weeks and I'll probably be doing a tasting over on my Instagram if you're interested in watching that. And then of course, if you are able to buy ingredients in bulk or plastic free, that's fantastic. I know this year it can be trickier to bring your own containers, but as with anything, it's about doing what you can. So those are my tips for a more sustainable and low waste holiday season. And I would love to hear your tips in the comments as well. Thank you to Earth Hero for partnering with me on this video. If you are looking for sustainable products or gifts, they're a fantastic marketplace to check out. And I would love to know how you're celebrating this year. It's definitely gonna be a weird December, but I wish you health and happiness. Thank you for watching and thank you so much to those of you supporting me on Patreon. And I'll see you in the next one.